guys, the whole point of this video is to undo the catastrophe of the car radiator video. This is a heater core, and this is what I was supposed to have that time around. You can see we've designed a shroud for it that'll allow you to use a regular PC cooling fan, even though this was originally designed for a car. These were mostly popular in the early 2000s when custom-made PC water cooling radiators weren't really a thing yet. What does this have to do with any of what I just said? <laughs> and what does it have to do with this message? From our sponsor, Motion Gray. Their sit-to-stand desks and ergo chairs provide maximum comfort at an affordable price. Crunch your numbers, not your back, by checking them out at the link down below and use code LINUS to save 10% on your purchase. Is this thing new? It's from a 69 Camaro, why would it be new? I don't know, maybe there's a market for enthusiast restoration parts brand new or something. Look, the point is, this AIO water cooler with a triple 120 millimeter radiator costs a whopping $180. Which got us thinking, given that you can go to a junkyard and pick up a heater core that's gotta have at least that kind of cooling capacity for like 40 bucks, could we scrape together everything else we need and build a competitive water cooling system. I mean, we all know about the problems with AIOs. Weak pumps, skinny tubing, and wanna upgrade them? Forget about it. This might not be pretty, but if we choose the right case, we might be able to install it in such a way that you would never know that it's inside. The question is just, how much did the rest of this stuff cost us? In total, everything, including the heater core, was $111. Really? So we beat this by 70 bucks? Yep. All we need to know now is how much work are we gonna be putting into installing it and what's the performance gonna be like? To be clear, this isn't a given and one of our obstacles is right in the name. It's a heater core. It's not for cooling. It actually takes cold air coming into the front of your vehicle, sometimes at a significant velocity, takes hot water from your engine, heats that air, and then blows it into your face on a cold winter's day. Which means that even though it would typically have a fan as an assist, heater cores are thick with dense fin arrangements because they need a lot of static pressure to get through them. Static pressure that a typical PC fan is not really designed to provide. Although then again, if those can't do it, maybe these can, and if these can't, well, this definitely can. That's definitely not in the budget, but I think this would probably fit. Yeah, that one, that one blows it a bit. While Alex gets the fans mounted, I wanna talk about yet another obstacle. You know how I just said you'd expect to have way more airflow in a car? Well, you'd also expect to have way more water flow from the pump you would find in a car. And while we did find an affordable, whoop, aquarium pump that claims to do 1,400 liters per hour. The issue with aquarium pumps is they're typically designed to maximize flow rate, even if it comes at the cost of head pressure. So as soon as we start to try to pump that water through a restrictive CPU block or a big fat heater core, we could see those flow rates plummet. Also, that's the least of our concerns at the moment, because like, does this even hey. hold water? What's, yeah, what's inside of it? Hey! Oh, solder. Oh, uh, that's green. Okay, uh, that's not supposed to go down the sink. Okay. Tasty. That seems fairly minimal. Please don't attack our office green piece. It warmed up when I cleaned it out with the hot water. Now it just smells gross. Uh, that's been in my office the whole week, so I know don't how you feel. Put your face it. right in it. I don't mind it. It's not that bad. Metal smell. One of the big challenges with 2000s era water cooling was finding A, a heater core that would fit in a case, and B, a case that would fit a heater core. Because you gotta remember, back then, most of our cases had a ton of drive bays especially the large premium ones that might have enough space. So what folks often ended up doing is dremeling out or otherwise removing large amounts of the front of the internals, and in some cases, even the front of the case in order to get enough airflow through these hogs. Thankfully, we shouldn't have to deal with any of that because 
Our handy dandy engineer, Kyle, made us a shroud, which is gonna serve two purposes. One, it's gonna create a gap between the spinning blades of our fan and the heater core itself. You can see it's about a centimeter right now. That's gonna help us make more effective use of the fins that otherwise would be under the hub or under the corners or <clears throat> way over there where our fan can't reach them. The second purpose is it's going to make it compatible with our case because we can mount the fan here and then we can mount our two fans into the front of the case. This is exactly how smoothly that car radiator chute was supposed to go. If only we had gotten a heater core that time like I asked. What? We have done literally nothing so far, Linus. We've done some how stuff. How can you say this is going smoothly? We haven't even JB welded our fittings into it yet. Oh. Wait. No. We could just stretch tubing over that. Uh, that's three quarters of an inch. I could stretch half inch tubing over it. Seems like a tight fit. You know what? Oh. Where's that heat gun? No. If it fits, you know you're gonna sit. What, what graphics card is that in there? Don't worry about it. Okay, bye bye 4090. No! Bye. He's actually doing better than I thought he would. This ain't my first rodeo, okay? Back in my day. I used to do uh, 3 8 inch thick wall tubing over half inch fittings to make sure they would sounds, sounds never like leak. So one thing I've realized that's going to be a problem that we could probably solve right now mm -hmm is that my AliExpress water block ah! I'm listening. is not AM5 compatible, because I just forgot that I have AM5 here. It's dangerous. Don't worry about it. Oh, that's, that, that's fine. You're actually a lot further than I thought you'd be. <laughs> At this point in the video, you're probably wondering why we're even bothering to show you this. It doesn't seem like the sort of thing that you should do at home, but that's not actually the case. I mean, we are, intentionally using the wrong size tubing here because we would have to go all the way over to the other building to get thicker tubing. So <laughs> it's not the kind of thing that you would have to deal with. And as long as our performance is okay, there's no denying the difference in cost. So as long as you can find a good deal on a heater core, I don't see any reason why you couldn't replicate this at home. However, it's gotten a little bit more difficult finding copper-based heater cores these days, since a lot of the modern ones are aluminum. And those of you who are experienced in water cooling will know that if you run an aluminum component and a copper component together in the same loop, even with an anti-corrosion additive, you are asking for a bad time. And since aluminum water cooling components are few and far between, you will need to find a copper heater core. Uh, motorcycle radiators are another option if you can find one with dimensions that'll fit in your case. Ultimately, you just do what a lot of people used to and you don't bother putting it in your case. Just run some tubes out the back and uh, go whole room water cooling. Oh no, I was just trying to think uh, you might need to do even more stretching now that I look at the fittings that we have for this aquarium pump. That's the only one you have to go into the other side? Well, I have this one. Oh ye of little faith, success. Sure. If that doesn't look like performance to you, I don't know what would. Uh, guys. Yeah. What? Did you think to maybe offset this so that it fits in the case? Uh, I thought that we can just take that part out. Yeah. Call it a day. Or Dremel. Ah! Oh, oh yeah! Ha ha! LTT screwdriver for the win. Yeah, that's fine. Hey! This is a pretty big moment of truth. <coughs> oh, no. Ah, oh, you've kinked it, bro. <laughs> Don't kink, shame. Also, I have a plan. We were supposed to cut the tubes shorter. Uh, uh, That's a way worse plan. Uh, 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 hold on. Okay. So now when it leaks, it's right on the power supply? Yeah. Oh, geez, you're spilling water in the case too. Where were you planning to put the reservoir and pump? Well, my thought was we would cut these tubes short, which I forgot to mention. And then we would put the radiator up top with the pump down below. I see. I really have to remove my... Tube? No, you just cut the copper pipe off. <laughs> the tube's still attached. Not that loud. Oh, rest in peace, stretched tube. Hey guys, Cavalry's here. What's up, Colin? Uh, oh, this is perfect. We got some nice thick boys. Uh, yeah, sure, uh, just, just right here is good. Yeah, just, yeah, literally anywhere. Thank you. No thanks. Excellent. You oh, contributed to that. That was not all me. Uh, I got some tech tips here for you, Kyle. 
Nope. <clears throat> That looks pretty good. Alex made the executive decision to not try to install our cheap AliExpress block because it's not AM5 compatible. And we're just gonna use what, an EK block? Alpha cool, actually. Yeah, we're still well under budget, like 50, 60 bucks under what we would have paid for an AIO. Yeah. And we're using a premium block from a very reputable water cooling company. Wow, that sounds so good. It's pretty, it's a bad color. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I'm trying to sell this screwdriver, you <laughs> the best way to do this would have been to braze fittings onto the copper pipes. However, the good thing about the way we're doing it is we're showing you guys a lot of the different options. You can also just stretch a tube over and you can also epoxy a fitting onto the bare copper pipe. Just bear in mind that brazing would be the most reliable. It's bigger. Frickin' A. That's what she said. All right, but do you have a fitting for this for the other side? No. Wait, we're good. We go from the radiator to that side of the pump. Oh yeah. As long as that is a, an appropriate loop order, then we're good to go. Okay, Alex is here with the big tube. Okay. I think we're just gonna put big tubing over JB Weld. I also know how we can adapt between the two. Oh, oh no! I approve. I approve. Perfect. I approve. No, 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 no. Yeah, I yeah. didn't stick it in Water. far enough. You didn't zip tie it. I'm bringing this back over and we're forgetting about the JB weld then? Yep. I guess so. All right. Ooh, it's pretty uh, hardened, boys. The good news is that it's at an in-between tacky phase where I can get it off really cleanly, guys. This is great. Okay. This one goes on this side then. Ooh, that's a lot of JB Weld on my tube. <laughs> okay. We need one of those zip tie guns. Have you ever seen one of those zip tie guns? Yeah, they're super cool. They're not that expensive. You want me to buy you one? Nope. I've wasted so much more of your money than the freaking zip tie gun, mate. <sighs> okay, here we go. Come on. Yeah. Oh, nice. This is actually going a lot better than I thought it would. What happened last time someone said this is going really well? Have you learned nothing? Nope. All right, not bad though, hey? We still haven't pressure tested it. Minor details. I'm just saying it right now so that when we spill water all over 4090 that there's documentation of I told you so. I often tell this to people on the leadership team here. I told you so is not acceptable. I if know. you knew better, you have to actually stop it. Could I stop you if I tried? Nope. <laughs> well, I for one am excited. What are we using for a... Ra really, that wimpy little thing. Yeah. This is our radiator. Yeah. And that's your reservoir. It's really cheap. Oh. Do you realize how much bigger this is than the reservoir that was in the AIO? That's true. Yeah. It is infinitely bigger than the reservoir that was in the AIO, which doesn't have one. We are gonna have this loop filled before you can say Bob's your uncle. Don't try to say Bob's your uncle faster than I'm doing what I'm doing right now. Magnet. Uh, <laughs> why did it have to be flesh colored? Love Too bad we don't have the OnlyFans anymore. <laughs> Freaking A, that like is not bad though, guys. Like for realsies, not bad. It actually looks like industrial. Yeah, I'm bringing the radiator down to the pump which yeah. I just need to get repositioned so that the inlet has access to what's coming off of the uh, reservoir. I just need a position for it. Where are you gonna put the reservoir? It'll have to go somewhere right before the pump. Okay, I can't screw this up, so I'm gonna err on the side of a little bit longer. Okay, then this bad boy has to go over this barb or we are boned. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Actually, that's that's a genius way to mount the. Wow. Does right here seem like yeah, a good spot yeah, for yeah, the that's, res? That's real good. Right? Old school friggin' water cooling, guys. We are doing it. I'm actually feeling really good now. <laughs> this has been a bit of a discouraging project up until now. Other than the first bit where things were going really well and I jinxed it. Okay. Oh man, we got this. Question. What, Kyle? How does the reservoir get water? From this. Oh, okay. I didn't see that. Don't worry, Kyle. Everything's going to be okay. Forgive me for not having faith in these guys. I can see it. I can smell victory right now. Look at this. Now, 
we have access to both the inlet, which is gonna come from, can you pass me this one, this one, here. So you pass me that. What do you mean? Goes to the inlet. Through where, yeah? You... Yeah, exactly, right there. Well, yeah, and we've cut... got a fill port. Do you wanna cut it shorter or just leave it long? Uh, no, no, we'll cut it shorter, we'll cut it shorter, here. Okay, don't cut it that short. <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell me when. Just like look at it and cut it in the right spot. You're a smart guy. Uh, okay, look. sure. You should make educational videos, Alex. <laughs> It's like a gift. Uh, do you have those scissors? What are you doing? Cutting it. Oh my goodness. Okay, can I have that please? No, not that, that's scissors. What do you want? Scissors. Oh, can I have that? The tubing kind of looks That. Can you be less of a downer? Clear, black, different kind of black. Luckily the same oh. color black as this black. Oh, these are way too long. You cut this one. Well, yeah, I was just doing a test to make sure that it fit on the fitting. What did you, it's like, Kyle, these are way too long and you grabbed the one that you freaking cut. Well, I put you in charge. Here, unless you want this to cut tubing. Well, you see, I'll say blind has passed me the scissors, which are these. How many times did I say scissors, editor? Uh, do you have those scissors? Okay, can I have that please? That's scissors. Scissors. Hey, look at this though, guys. <laughs> We're freaking installed. I want to see some performance out of this thing. Okay. That pump is freaking going though, hey? <laughs> that, that pump is pretty ridiculous. I'm pretty happy. Oh, go, 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 go. Okay, now don't don't turn it off, whatever you do. This uh, is- we're leaking, we're leaking, we're leaking. What? Stop, stop, we're leaking. No, Where? No, Where? No, no. Oh, oh shit, I need to turn block. it back on. on the CPU block. Oh no. The block. The good news is that the computer is not powered on, which means everything should be alive. Uh -huh. We weren't supposed to do it until later, but I do have a water-cooled 4090 right here that we were going to swap in if we felt the need. <coughs> I think we're swapping this in. Uh, Ooh. I found some of your um, radiator schmoo. Oh yeah, that's uh, pretty gross. I know the problem. Look, it's not straight. So the O-ring was sitting on this seam. It's very obvious what went wrong and how to fix it. I have a lot of JB Weld on my fingers, which is probably not the best thing for an O-ring. Oh, it's pretty bad. Yeah, that's, that's not turning back on today. All right, no problem, guys. We might have got away with one. The heat sink for the SSD is very wet, but I think that the SSD itself is dry. Hey, the good news is, by the time you buy a GPU block, you are still not that far off what you would have spent on that top of the line AIO. You're an extra maybe 40 bucks in, Yes. That's the upgradability of a custom loop. Yeah. And your sanity. Don't worry about that. New GPU. Upgrade. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Do it. Is it not leaking? No, we're more? good. Okay. We're good. That was the problem. Missing clear <clears> O-ring. <throat> That's fine. Okay. Hit me with another. Thank you so much, good sir. The motherboard is very clean now. Especially the 4090 is very clean, we washed it. Can I have some side cutters? You mean flush cutters? I mean a thingy. Pass me that. Okay. Let's do it! Let's do it! You ready? Yep. There's a lot of air bubbles in there. That's okay. Because we have the reservoir right above the pump and because we have the fittings for the radiator at the top, the bubbles have nowhere to get stuck. So they'll, this will bleed extremely quickly. It's a submersible pump, so they tend not to be that quiet. Although, it's, it's not bad. It's pretty quiet, it's pretty It's quiet. not bad, now that it's got the air bubbles out of it. And like, we have really got some water moving in here. And you guys ready? Okay, do it. Three, two, one. Do it, do it. Oh, press the wrong button. That's probably not hooked up. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, baby. Yeah, I haven't checked anything else. 24 pin plugged in. I'm getting postcodes and stuff. It's oh. doing stuff. Are we, are we up? Are we up? We did it. Hey, yes. Jank water cooling saved 50 bucks. <laughs> we did. Yep. Well, minus the GPU block. This is moving air. Yeah. That's on. Finishing touches. It actually looks pretty fine from the front. That classic blue LED 120 mil fan look though. All right. In summary then, we probably downgraded our radiator a little bit. More surface area from the front tends to be better than more thickness overall. Plus, these are probably better fans than uh, <clears throat> what we put on this. But we upgraded our block. Our pump is 
probably fine. We actually have a reservoir now at all, and we did it for 50, 60 bucks less. So we could have splurged for premium fans and we would still have a system that is upgradable, that we can grow into. We will upgrade the fan. But what we're looking for here, the biggest thing is CPU package power. I'm guessing this is gonna hit 95 degrees because AMD targets that. Yeah. But if this drops below about 184 watts, we're doing worse. If we're able to get above 200, we like killed it. When we did the test before, we just had the AIO cooling the water block, not the GPU. Yeah. Correct. So okay. now we're cooling both CPU and the GPU. Yeah. yeah. So if we have the same package power, not only are we winning, we are super winning. Yes. But we also blew the budget with that GPU block, so... Are you hitting it? Okay. Show me the package. CPU, Where's my package 85, at? 90. Yes, yeah, so we have 200 watts. Can yeah. we sustain it? You're not hitting the GPU, are you? No. That would be pretty unfair. Yeah. It's already got a little bit of extra load on it from that and more restriction in the loop from having to push water through an additional block. I think that we're still already ahead of the AIO. Really? Yeah. That actually makes sense because AIOs use extremely rudimentary cold plates. So that's your bottleneck rather than the temperature of the coolant. You can throw all the fans and all the radiator you want at it. If the cold plate can't move heat fast enough, it's just not going to be as effective. Oh, we're down to 92. What? Well, 192. Yeah, 192. That's still more. No, 192 is kind of like where it liked hanging out before. Okay, well, I guess we don't need to get good at high-fiving then. The thing that might be pulling it back is like the VRMs and not the CPU itself. It's without a doubt as good or better than the AI. And upgradable. Should we upgrade it? Oh God, <coughs> if you must. I, I think we just do it right now. Right now we're doing it. We're just, we're just sending it. Oh, we can do it. Can we? <gasps> yeah. No way. Okay. Let's put All some right. real airflow on this thing. All right. If you're finding yourself asking, the f did I just watch? Just know that you're not alone. There are other uh, people really like real. you and they all shop yeah. at lttstore.com. All right. Okay, are we good? Woo! I think we're good. Clamped? Yep. Good as Clamped. a strong word. Okay, hold on, can I just? Yeah, it's great. Great is a strong word. If it takes off, just get out of the way. Okay. What could possibly go this wrong? This is basically like driving down the highway at 100 miles an hour. We're up from 180 to 187. This is moving some heat out of that heater core, boys. 188. 189. Oh my, 190. All you need is the right fan configuration. This just keeps going, guys. We're all the way up to 194. The fans are spinning fast enough that the LEDs turned on. <laughs> I gotta confess, I'm actually a little surprised that the heater core method is still a viable option for PC water cooling. Oh yeah, it's great. To be clear, there are more economical ways you could use proper PC water cooling parts to beat an AIO, and maybe that'd be a good idea for a follow-up video. Oh yeah. You don't have to buy your radiator from the most premium brands like EK. There are more affordable options. Just like there are more affordable segues to our sponsor. I buy direct. Show your eyes some love with a new pair of glasses. I buy direct offers a vast and affordable selection of glasses available right at your fingertips. Use their virtual try on widget to get a preview of how you look. Select the try on option on a pair of glasses. Use your phone's camera or upload a picture of yourself and begin experimenting with all of your favorite styles. I buy Direct's products are trendy and affordable, but they also offer more premium brands for those who want something a little more eye-catching. <laughs> and if you stare at a screen all day, like me, or you're just so over the color blue, you might be interested in a pair of blue light filtering glasses. Take care of your eyes without having to break the bank. Visit lmg.gg slash iBuyDirect or visit the link below and use code FUN30 for 30% off all orders, $65 or more. If you guys enjoyed this video, you know what? I'm gonna throw to the time that Alex and I tried to do this, but ended up with a radiator instead of a heater core. Oh, that was so good. Classic. It's one of our worst videos. The best.